We have a few moments before the service begins and time for our notices as Aldridge Parish Church and uh, here are Janet and Chris with those notices for us. With the latest lockdown, things are changing for quite a lot of us at the moment and so I've just got a few things to tell you about to try and keep people in touch with some of the things that are happening at APC at the moment. And uh, this information is also available on the weekly email, which comes out on a Friday. And if you don't get that and you would like to, then please do contact the office and they can arrange uh, for you to receive it. So the first thing is about offers of help. And if you or someone you know is feeling particularly lonely or isolated or low at the moment and would really uh, value a chat on the phone with a friendly person then uh, do please contact the office because we can arrange that and also with the new regulations if um, people are having difficulty in getting food shopping uh, due to having to self-isolate or for the other reasons at the moment again do please get in touch with the office because that's something we can help with as well do also remember food banks, they may need more contributions at the moment, but also for anyone whose circumstances may have changed recently financially, then do remember that food banks are there to help. If you feel that there's something uh, that you'd like prayer for, any type of need, um, do get in touch with the prayer ministry team because we can offer prayer ministry over the phone. And if you think that would be helpful, then do please get in touch with the Perrin Ministry team through their email or through the office. So any of these offers of help, um, do get in touch with the office and the information will be passed on to the appropriate people. So the next thing I want to tell you about is um, house groups and lots of the house groups are meeting on Zoom at the moment and they're using um, online or other resources um, for Bible study and having virtual coffee and chat and support and times of prayer. And if there's anyone who's not in a home group at the moment who would like to join one, please do contact the office because that is something that can be arranged even during lockdown. So if you'd like to do that, um, do please get in touch with the office and uh, that can be arranged. And um, the third thing I want to draw to your attention is some different opportunities for prayer. So um, some of you may already have seen that our archbishops have suggested that um, we make this month of lockdown a month of prayer. And some people are going to pray at 6pm each evening and uh, there are resources on the Church of England website and also on the Thy Kingdom Come website with ideas about how to go about that. And if you'd like to pray with others, there are the opportunities of our two Zoom prayer meetings uh, on Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. and in November, that's the 12th and the 26th of November, and also the weekly Friday morning prayer meeting at 11 a.m. And if you haven't done Zoom before, um, it's really worth doing and I'd encourage you to give it a try. Uh, it's not that difficult to do and it's free and uh, it's a really good way of um, meeting with others to pray. And as in any prayer meeting, uh, you don't have to pray aloud, you can pray silently and still very much be part of the meeting. And on um, Friday the 13th of November, the Evangelical Alliance are suggesting that um, they are going to have a day of prayer. So the Zoom prayer meeting that morning will be focusing on their resources. Um, but do consider getting involved with that as well. And there are, again, ideas on their website about how to make that um, a day of prayer. And these prayer opportunities are to pray for the world and for our country and to pray also um, that in this very difficult time, people may find Jesus as the one who helps them. So thanks for listening to the notices. Think about those offers of help 
uh, think about the house groups and opportunities to pray and take a moment today to um, think and pray about what your response could be. Thank you. Hi Quizzers, Chris Weil here again with news of this year's Tier Fund Big Quiz Night. All you need to do is get yourselves into teams of six people. Up to six is fine. And don't forget, you don't need to be in one physical location. So your team could be with your friends across town. Absolutely fine. The magic of technology and Zoom allows this. So get yourselves into teams of up to six. And when you know who's in your team, would you please send all of the email addresses for your team members into the church office at the email address on the screen now. You'll then be invited via Zoom to the big quiz night and be able to log on. So um, the quiz is suitable, folks, for anybody really year seven and up. Children younger than that, absolutely fine to have them around, of course, um, but some of the questions might be a little tricky. If you want to see how the quiz night is going to work practically, so how do we move people around from big group into their own quiz teams, then why not join for a coffee and a chat after the service on Sunday and you'll be able to see it in action. It's fantastic, technology is brilliant and we're really gonna have a fun time. There's one more thing for you to think about though, folks. When you've got your team of up to six people, we need a team name. So when you do email the church office, please put your team name on the email and we'll really have a fun time on the 14th. It's 7 p.m., drop it on the calendar, find the best brains you can find and I'll see you on the 14th. God bless. Thank you.